Yeah, Shalom. All uh, honor, praises, and glory unto Yahweh. Basham Yahweh Shai. Basham Raka Kadash. Big up all of the Akiam and the Aqua for help push 100% through. And double honors to the elders them at the Great Millstone where I teach and I push it too. We are going to talk about the Native Americans and the, Lat- the Latin American. You understand? The, 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 um, the, the people where they can kiss the doors and, and the colonists, the colonists come and, 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 and enslave the tribal people of the Americas, North and South. Yeah, they are, in fact, Israelites. Yeah, we are going to start with this college from brown.edu college, college website. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. During the war, New England colonists routinely shipped Native Americans as slaves to Barbados, Bermuda, Jamaica, the Azores, Spain, Tangier, in North Africa, which I said. Right, so Native Americans were sent on ships into slavery. Right, on ships into slavery, just like Deuteronomy 28 and 68 say. Right, among them say that is about the black people, but it also happened to, to, to the Native Americans from South America to North America. Right, happened to them as well. Uh, and I go for the man them where I talk about FBA and Ados. Because them are called, them are called the other tribe man, them tethers and, and, and foreigners. When when some of, the, some of the Native Americans are in the Caribbean and Latin America now, them get sent from, from North America, right? Into into the Caribbean and Africa and them places there. So so what do you mean? When you call them and the tethers that come from the other lands, right? You're not even know so you talk about man them that is you that get carried away. So you also have the Filipinos and Manila and them place there in Southeast Asia, right? Them them are Israelites as well. Because you have just look at article right here. From the late 15 to 1560s through the early 1700s, individual traders brought slaves from the Philippines to Mexico aboard the ship of the Manila Galleon. This chapter examines the Trans-Pacific trade during a key period of transition for the larger slave trade to the Spanish America, when slaves dealt in people from Asia and Africa. So slaves were taken from Africa and Asia, and you have you have the Chinese look them say, oh, how can those Mexicans and Native Americans will look Chinese? We are people because some of them come from over there, so through slavery, all right? The Israelites get scattered abroad through many countries, all right? That's why you have Deuteronomy 28 and 68 foremost, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. When they say Egypt, we talk about slavery because when the Israelites did they in a slavery. The day in Egypt, it was slavery. So the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, slavery again with ships. Right? This is the key point. This only happened to the so-called black man them and Latino man them. Right? A a Native American man them. Thou shalt see it no more again. And (coughs) there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for ban ban man (coughs) and ban woman. And no (coughs) man... And no man shall buy you, no man shall redeem you out of it. Right? Because in a Hebrew slavery, another Hebrew man could have buy you out of slavery, but this type of slavery, that not happen. Right? And this happened to the so called black and Latino man. Them. You see the, the Manila Gallon right here go from <coughs> Spanish North America. <coughs> The Southeast Asia, the allergy season right now, I kick my name, you know. <coughs> Drink some of this coffee. The allergy and the pollen <coughs> they out of the air. So yeah, the Manila <coughs> Gallon, take <coughs> them. 
Voilà, voilà, les deux. <coughs> 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 So the Manila Gallon take man them from <clears throat> Philippines and, and Singapore I bring them into the Spanish America, Mexico, California, South, South America, Peru, all them places there. Right? <clears throat> you see how the map right there? So that the Spanish uh, and the Portuguese, them do this thing. Them, them, them enslave man them from Africa as well as in Asia. And bring them money to South America and to Europe. This is the Trans Pacific slave trade, Manila Gallon. Because <clears throat> Deuteronomy 32 and 26. I said I would scatter I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remember of them to cease from among men. So 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 the people, the Latin Americans and natives, them forget this. And the so-called blacks forget this too. Even even some so-called white man them, I I I arrest man them forget this type of history as well too, because everybody I believe the lie that the Israelis are the Israelites uh, 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 and that we are not a people. That's what Hosea said. But in the land where it said that we are not his people, in the same land it's a good bit said that we are the children of God, and it's being said right now, right? <clears throat> yeah, awesome, right? Right, <clears throat> the name of, of of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man, in which the ten tribes of Israel would dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration, according to Second Ezra thirteen and forty five. Columbus identified America with this land. Columbus identified America with the land that the ten tribes of Israel. We dwell because remember I said the Israelites to break up into two kingdoms, the kingdom of Judah, and then which consists of uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and then you have the kingdom of uh, uh, Israel, which con consists of Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Issachar, Zebulon, Asher, uh, and uh, 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 and Dan. And, and the rest of them have been missing it. <clears throat> right, so so it was known at one point regularly. Everybody knows say, yo, the Latino man them, a, a, a Native American man them, and, and, and the so-called black slave man them are the Israelites. But the me the memory of it ceased from our once men. Because Deuteronomy 32 and 26, I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from amongst men. So this now this information has become scarce knowledge where only a few people know this. Right? And more evidence here of first Maccabees thirteen and twenty seven, one of the Maccabees, the Levite priest, Simon also built a monument upon the sepulchre of his father and his brethren and raised it aloft to the site. With hewn stone behind and before. Moreover, he set up seven pyramids, one against another for his, for his father and his mother and his four brethren. So the Israelites were pyramid builders. Right? And then you go in Latin America, from, from North America down to South America, you have mounds and pyramids. In Tenochtitlan, you have, you have, you have Tenochtitlan, Machu Picchu. Right, yeah, yeah, all of them thing there. Yeah. Cause these are the Israelites. Remember, Columbus identified America with the land that the ten tribes of Israel would dwell. Observing the laws of Moses. Because you see that's why the Native Americans were the fringes. You mm -hmm. understand? That's why you see them in the fringes. Everybody knows say that the um Native American weir. You see them in the fringes. They have custom, but we, you understand, real Native American woman them wear, wear the fringes with the ribbon of blue, just like numbers 15 and 35 said them for do. Right, put on the fringes with the ribbon of blue. You understand? Observing the laws of Moses. But them get enslaved. Right, yeah, from, from. Not Central and uh, uh, South America. Those are where the ten, the ten tribes of Israel. What? 
Gue <coughs> Gue You understand? And you know, it, it, it come from when them get carried away from Assyria, the ten tribes get lose them kingdom before the kingdom of Judah, because the, the kingdom of Israel fall off, but the kingdom of Judah remain until the Roman time. You understand? And third, second Ezra 13 and 40 go into it. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, whom Solomon, as a king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the water, and so they came into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would lead the multitude of the Eden and go far further into a further country where never mankind dwell. So them say, oh, from them get carried away from Israel into Assyria, them say, oh, let's left this place and go into another country with no heathens there. So there we can keep the laws of God. All right? And them come to America that they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow spaces of the river. So them go to the Euphrates River and empty out into the Indian Ocean. And the currents bring you around the south, the southeastern part of Africa, and then bring you up the, the southwestern, and then it slingshots you out to Brazil. Right? That's the currents. For the most high, then shoot sign for them. And else, else still the flood till they passed over. So the Lord allowed them to do this. He showed them the current. Right? For true, that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. And the same region is called Asher. That's what we just read in the Jewish Encyclopedia about the land where the ten tribes would dwell. And Columbus identified that land in America. Yeah? But then forget them forget this history because when the Native Americans get conquered, them send them to boarding schools to Americanize them so them can lose them history, right? American Indian boarding schools, also known recently as American Indian residential schools, were established in the United States from mid 17th to, to early 20th centuries with the primary objective of civilizing are assimilating Native American children and youth into European American culture. So the Native Americans and the Latinos lose this history during this time period because they were forced to forget them history and be civilized into transgender and ageism and maps and pedophilia and free crack pipes and heroin needles for, for drug addicts. Uh, 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 bomb Arab Muslims in their own land. Uh, 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 island, pedo island for the children. Right? Them get civilized. Because that is civilization. <clears throat> Drugs, prostitution. Yeah. Murder. Pedophilia. Child sacrifice. Abortion. That is civilization. From keeping the laws of Moses. And, and, and the Native Americans were civilized. And... Now them forget them on a history just like the so-called black man forget them on a history too. Right? And that's Jeremiah 17 and 4. And though even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land, which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire of mine anger, which shall burn forever. So the Israelites forget them own them own heritage in a land where them know not and this land is america yeah all of the land them outside uh, 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 um israel you understand because second kings 17 and 23 this is when it starts for the, for the kingdom of israel the 10 tribes which dwell in america according to columbus Second Kings 17 and 23. Until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria to this day. And from Assyria, them go into them go into America. Yeah. Yeah, Wozia 5 and 30. When Ephraim saw his sickness, 
And Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to, to the Assyrian and sent to King Jerob, yet could he not heal you, nor cure you of your wound. So Ephraim get carried away, but Judah stay, and Judah see it. Judah see Ephraim get carried away. Ephraim represent the head tribe of the northern kingdom of Israel. Because Israel and Judah broke up into two kingdoms after Solomon dead. <laughs> You see me? Judah, the head of the arm, the southern kingdom. Judah, the head of the arm, the wall, the kingdom of Israel. But, but during the split, Judah was only the king, the head of the, the southern kingdom. And then during the split, Ephraim was the head of the northern kingdom. Yeah, Isaiah 7 and 9. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. And the head of Samaria is Ramalia's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. Right? You have to believe these things. This, these things that were written aforetime were for our learning. So you can know what he's talking about with the Jews and the Gentiles and all of them things. Yeah. Israel become Gentiles before Judah become Gentile. God them fall off first and, and become, become Latino and Native Americans first. Right, as Psalm 78 and 67. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim. So, the tabernacle of Joseph are the ten tribes, right? Edited by the tribe of Ephraim, right? One of the sons of Joseph. But chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved, but he chose. The tribe of Judah forbid the head and place him near in Mount Zion, which they are the land of Benjamin. That's why Judah and Benjamin stay behind and then Levi come with them. Yeah, yeah, Psalm 68 and, and 27. There is little Benjamin with their ruler because the king of Judah living at the land of Benjamin in Jerusalem. The princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulon and the princes of Nephtali. This is the time period of unification right here. Right? You have a map of Israel, you have Bethel and Jerusalem in the land of Benjamin. Right? Samaria and Shechem, then up there in Ephraim and Manasseh. You understand? <clears throat> First Kings 11 and 31. And he said to Jeroboam, Take thee ten pieces, for thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. But all I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon, and will give ten tribes to thee. Right? So this was the start of the broke up of the kingdom of Israel into two kingdoms, the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. But he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. So, so Rehoboam, son of Solomon, I got to have one tribe and Jeroboam, I have ten tribes, right? So, Rehoboam get the one tribe, Benjamin, because Benjamin is where Jerusalem is. And that is where David's throne is. And the Lord make, make a promise unto David an everlasting throne. So he must keep that within Judah. Yeah. But Jeroboam do this on First Kings 12 and 31. And he made a house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. So he kick out the, the sons of Levi from the northern kingdom. So that's all the Le Levitical priests would go into Judah only. <laughs> And no, you know, these modern times, the, 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 the kingdom of Judah consists of uh, your, 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 your American black man, your West Indian black man, your Haitian black man, or the so-called black man them from the slave days. This is a, a European map of, of the West African coast, and them name it the kingdom of Judah, the slave coast. Because them know who they might get. Them know who the people were who, who, that they were enslaving. Right? It is not a skin color thing. It never was a skin color thing. The skin color thing is one of the biggest psyops. It's a complex psyops. 
them think they make you think that racism is about skin color. It's not about no skin color, man. Them man don't hate you because you're skin color. Them hate you because uh, uh, oh, you are a child of God. So, the so-called black man, them, you understand? Go to, you have, you have the kingdom of Israel or the Latino and the Native American, them go to them slavery. And the so-called black man, them go to our slavery too. We get scattered through the trans transatlantic and the trans-Pacific slave trade, and the transatlantic and the trans-Indian Ocean and trans-Saharan slave trade, I mean. You understand? We get scattered to India, Saudi Arabia, Iran, right? Italy, North Africa, just like the Native Americans. We get scattered into the West Indies, America, uh, South America. Ezekiel 23 and 4. So, so yeah, our boss, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to punish him people, right? I'm doing it metaphorically right here. And the names of them were Aola, Aola the elder, and Aliba, our sister. And they were mine, and they bear sons, and they, be, and they bear sons and daughters. And thus were their names Samara, Samaria is Aola, Aola. And Jerusalem is Aliba, right? So it's talking about the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Verse 25. And I will set my jealousy against thee, and they shall deal furiously again with thee. They shall take away thy nose and thine ears, and thy remnant shall fall by the sword, and they shall take thy sons and daughters, and the residue shall be devoured by fire. <laughs> So the Lord saying people will get cursed and, and do this because we were sinning against them and we still sin against them. And this happened in a slavery. May have a little article here about all, about a time this happened. Right? <clears throat> so hold on. Clo, a plantation slave from the 1790s, is one of the most well known spirits of the plantation legend tells that plantation master George Clark Woodruff. First, when they took Chloe as a mistress, Woodruff, looking to keep her closer inside the home, insisted that she be in charge of caring for his children. While working in the home, Chloe used her position as an opportunity to eavesdrop on the guests. And guests, despite several warnings not to do so, she continued the practice and was eventually caught when Woodruff had a very influential company in the home as punishment. Woodruff had our left ear cut off and sent her to work elsewhere on the plantation. So you see these curses apply unto the Israelites. They shall take away thy nose and thine ears. All right, you see these curses up into the Israelites, so-called black uh, uh, Latino and Native American man them. And you have the Filipino man them and uh, so, Southern Asian man them too. People who fit the curses, right? So Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast and refused to let them go. So we were oppressed together in the Americas. Yeah, yeah, man them from 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 from, from the late 1560s. Through the early 1700s, individual traders brought slaves from the Philippines to Mexico abroad, the ships of the Manila Galleon. Uh, among them from, from, from Philippines. <clears throat> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Among them, during the war, New England colonies routinely shipped Native American slaves to Barbados, Bermuda, Jamaica, the Azara, Spain, Tanger, North Africa. Fisher said, you have Native Americans, right? You have Native Americans, Filipinos, you have black men, right? We were oppressed together in America. In America, the Asaref, the name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of man in which the ten tribes of Israel would dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration according to Second Ezra 13 and 45. Columbus identified America with this land. America, the land where the black man, the Latino man, the Native American man, them go into slavery. It's it's it, 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 right? 
haciendas, encomiendas, slavery, plantation. Yeah. We were oppressed together. And our, our oppressors not let us, do not let us go. And then you have the people right now in possession of the land of Israel. I said that them are the Jews. Ezekiel 36 and 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, you are our Shem, you are shy. Surely the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the Eden and against all Edomia, Edom, which have appointed my land into their possession with the jar of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prayer. So these Israelis, meanwhile, the children of Israel, the Latinos and Blacks and Filipinos and Southern Asians and, uh, and, and American Indians, right, and West Indians, we, we are oppressed, right, scattered across the whole world. These men, them are going in like them are the Israelites. But Ezekiel said that in the last days, the, the Idumian Edomites would possess the land. And look who possess the land right now. Them man there, them are the Edomites. And Joel 3 and 2, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part in my land. So I'm again, I go pop off because all the whole world know what I go on. They know who the Israelites are. They know so them Israeli man, them are not the Israelites. And this is a great sin unto the Lord, the Awa Basham, Yahweh Shai. And them now say, oh, take them people out of the land. Give the black and the Latino and the Native American man them, them land back. Uh, 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 let them be, serve them God like, like, the, 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 like where, where Moses and Aaron asked Pharaoh. Them now say none of that. So the Lord said, all I want are guilty. The whole I want to go get, get burned out in the valley of Jehoshaphat when me step back in you know, the scene. Mm. So yeah, the Latinos, them, them, for the, for the black only Israelites, the black Hebrew Israelites, Latinos and Native Americans are Israelites as well. When, if you are black only, and like that, uh, blah, 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 look upon Blake Griffin's son. Is Blake Griffin's son an Israelite? Right, look upon him. Man, man of blonde hair and blue eye. Is he an Israelite? Oh, okay. You see from, or oh, is it black, black only? Yeah. So more people learn. So shallow one.